I have one of my favorite people today. Barry, you're a fellow fourth degree knight, okay? You like politics, you like fun. You've got your mother and your father, I assume. Is that who it is? My or? uncle. And you've got your uncle outside yeah. here. And we've both checked our DNA references, so we're looking good. Barry, how about, first of all, let's introduce you to the, please, to the community. I'm Barry Donadio. I'm a proud Queen Anne's County resident. I'm uh, originally from New York, and I uh, bought a house here in 2003, and I live here on Kent Island and uh, been happy ever since. I'm president of a private security investigation firm called Public Security LLC. I'm sure you've seen us at one of the beaches in the summer. You're everywhere. You're we're, everywhere. We're everywhere. Yeah. Um, but we protect Queen Anne's County beaches at the behest of Parks and Recreation. And we've been honored to serve the county and work with the county residents and everybody visiting the county in the summer. And every time we, as you know, I work with a sheriff. I help the sheriff twice a day a week. And every time we'd run into your folks, uh, fantastic. And we're going to talk about them in a second. But first of all, i got to stop. Anytime I have, New York is my favorite city. I know, I want you to know, it eats me up. No, I every year go, here's my New York experience. Every year, and very often with Queen Anne's County Park and Rec, when they have it, go to New York. I have a light lunch at Sardi's, which for me, I'm looking at, looking for celebrities, and they're going, mm -hmm. Fred, ain't no celebrities here at lunchtime. And then we go to the kiosk and buy tickets to the play. Uh, and then we get another meal afterwards, and then we cruise around. I think there's an M and M store. To, uh, we're downtown New York. I so we're in New, I love New Yorkers. Tell me where you're from in New York. I was born and raised on Long Island in Suffolk County. And born that's where your Bayshore. mom, who's with it, and uncle. That's exactly where she's living in Ronkonkoma right okay, now. Okay, all right. And some of the viewers uh, probably know about these places I'm mentioning. There's more and more New Yorkers I'm seeing on Maryland's eastern oh, shore. Yeah. Mike Bell, who's Yorkers. the supervisor for the Board of Education uh, for Queen Anne's County. He's, uh, well, he, his New York ties him, but he's, now, Barry, you love this guy. He wears always a leather jacket got more gold on him than Fort Knox, and he's got exactly. this accent. I know a guy, Fred. Be quiet. I love this guy. <laughs> yeah, um, I have lost a little bit of the accent. No, you got it, though. Good. Oh, keep it. Don't it. lose I'm it. Don't lose it. I'm uh, when I'm uh, in oh, public. keep it. If I let it really out, it's a good you will need a translator. Nobody will understand me on the show. Now, are you a Yankees, Mets, Giants, Jets fan, or not a sports fan, or what? You know, uh... My mother has raised me to be a Mets fan. Oh, good for uh, her. So I'm a, I'm a, I like the I'm Mets. I'm a Mets fan. Good. She's got Mets stuff all over good her. Good for her. Good for and, her. Uh, yeah, so we would go to Shea Stadium. Okay. And uh, see the... Uh, the amazing Mets. Mets. The amazing when, Mets. Uh, come on, that's my team. How about Giants and Jets? You know, I don't really watch football. It's okay. But You're my smart. my grandfather was a uh, Giants fan. Okay, all right. Yeah. I mean, New York City, I want you to know, for this country bumpkin... 12 hours, I have the time of my life, spend yeah, more money than my wife wants to hear. That's right. But you know what? It's, that city will eat you up if you don't know what you're doing. But it's a glorious city. Yeah, um, there's been a lot of changes. New York City mm -hmm. is really uh, making a huge comeback. Oh, I think it's great now. For, there for, are all new buildings there yeah, now. The, yeah. uh, there's an economic boom going on. Mm -hmm. There's new faces, new places, all sorts of stuff. And it's great, and it's, it's safe, and it's safe. And right. uh, there's something, and I don't know if maybe they're changing the emissions in the vehicles. Mm -hmm. It is a quieter city you can, somehow. Man. Yes, we were just up there two weeks ago and right in the heart of Manhattan. Oh, it seemed to be you're quieter killing me. than it you're used to be me. when we were kids. Well, you know where Sardis is and you know about Sardis. Mm -hmm. I want you to know, and imagine a country bumpkin like me going there, all the pictures on the walls, and I love, uh, we, I love it. There's a guy, there's a, there's a waiter just to serve the tea. There's a waiter just to give you muffins, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and it's just great. And we're sitting at the table. Look who's over there. And, and then we know that you're from out of town because oh, you're walking I give it around away. like this. Yeah. Like this. <laughs> it's embarrassing. All right, let's leave New York City. Well, first of all, congratulations from being there. I love the Big Apple. I love it. It's a great sure. city. Now, let's, do me a favor. You had a wonderful, let's, let's honor a couple people here before we talk sure. about the business. You had a wonderful employee at the Heritage Center down at Kent Narrows. And a little background, I'll do it real quick. This particular woman, I believe, was from Baltimore. Sicily, where was she from? She's uh, actually originally from Sicily. Okay. And she uh, came to live the American dream when she was in her 20s. So and the she most helpful. United States, yes. Very, the most helpful. Bill and I, I'm in my 70s, and Bill was in, a little bit older than I. She mm -hmm. would help us lift bikes, because, you know, she was sitting in the parking lot there. Mm -hmm. She would help us lift bikes on our car. Uh, and the way she would help people when they parked in, because, you know, a lot of people go into the trail, Ken Island Trail. Where do I go? She was perfect. She yeah. would get maps. And, uh, but tell me the sad story about her. 
So um, Liliana had worked for our company for many years, okay. and she was one of our very positive employees. Oh, one great of, person. One of the best we had. Yes. Uh, uh, I don't think she's ever called out sick or come late in her entire no, career but, with oh. us. Mm. Um, so uh, for any business, uh, this is the kind of person you want. And she projected positivity. Oh, and she always talked about positive, but you and your wife. I mean, yeah, we get in and say, what is that bum Barry doing? She yeah. said, Mr. Oh, yeah. McNeil, yeah. Barry is a very good boss. <laughs> And um, she, she was wonderful. What yeah. else can I say? So uh, yeah, this uh, summer, she was working again with us, and mm -hmm. uh, she had gotten ill with, COVID. And, uh, with the COVID. Uh -huh. And um, the price we pay, uh, you know, we don't know where we contract mm -hmm. this. It could Ooh, she was always in the anyway. public. She was always in the public. Oh, yeah. um, she was going to work Labor Day uh, at the beaches for us. She was okay. going to actually work at Terrapin Park. Okay. And she became sick a week before. Oh, my goodness. And then she was hospitalized, and uh, she mm. began her what battle. What a wonderful COVID. person. What a loss yeah. for her family and your company. A loss, a loss, a personal loss for me, my mm -hmm. family, mm -hmm. uh, an irreplaceable person for my oh. company. Um, she was a she, walking billboard for she, your company. She was a walking encyclopedia. She was very oh. brilliant, and she spoke many languages. Oh, too. did she? I didn't know that. She, yeah, she was obviously Italian. How, yeah, how old was she? Was she 50s? 52. 52. 52, but she... We have many Latino visitors to our beaches now. Okay, she uh, can do the Spanish. She can speak fluent Spanish, and Terrific. it made a lot of people feel comfortable oh. seeing a security officer out there. And she was able to uh, navigate Always even German, read. French, yeah. English, okay. Spanish. And I can do Italian, Spanish, and English, and maybe a little tiny bit of Arabic. <laughs> okay. But she can master all those languages. Well, so I'm very sorry for the company and the family's loss. Yeah, Look at I, what a fantastic. And then you also, I believe, correct me, Three other people pass from your company? Yes, yes. So um, behind the scenes of when you see one of our vehicles or you see one of our right. people on post, there is a price to pay. Uh, the heavy price, this is our fourth employee this year that we've lost. Mm. Um, we have some great people that are irreplaceable, and from a business point of view, it's tough to dig out of that. Well, my condolences uh, to the company yes, and the blood. Uh, if they were anything like this wonderful woman at the Heritage Center, just great they people. Were all we bring on people that are positive and not in a negative light. Everybody is very uh, outgoing, kind, and we look to serve the community. We're a force for good, and you know, positivity is our number one thing. So we have a uh, former retired uh, Baltimore City Police Officer, okay. John Peace, mm -hmm. uh, was with our company, and he had passed away earlier this year. COVID Tremendous also? Work. No, that oh. was another natural cause. Oh, okay. But okay. terrible. And his wife will be joining us for the parade. Oh, wow. Uh, Centerville so, yeah. Parade. Yes, absolutely. Oh, you, you were, well, well, let's do this. Let's switch gears a little okay. bit. Okay. Let's stop. Tell me about the company. I mean, what, Barry, what do you run? I know you're busy. Your wife's... When I go down yeah. there, well, Barry's at this place. My wife's at this place. We're all place. over the place. So we're all over... Uh, who are also, you and what do you do? So, Public Security LLC, private investigation security firm. We also teach... Firearms. Okay. We teach Firearm safety and how to use firearm them. Firearm okay. safety, the handgun qualification license uh, here in Maryland is required for our class to get a pistol in the state of Maryland. So we're hot and heavy with that. We okay. get a lot of exposure with that. And we teach uh, these classes at the American Legion in Stevensville at okay. least once a month. Right. And if the demand rises, we do even more. So and the public can take part. The public can take part. If someone's that. That watching and say, well, first of all, how do they get, if someone says, as we keep talking here, how do we get in touch with you? Is there a phone number we can call? Google or me. website? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Um, you can find me very easily on the internet or okay. Public Security LLC. Okay. Literally, if you're anywhere in the world and type my name in or we're gonna, uh, my we're company, gonna, you're going to pop it up the right company. there. Okay. You will find a way to get to us very easily. Even I have my cell phone. It's public. I can okay. receive a call from anybody right now. Do you now. know it off the top of your head? Your phone number? I sure do. Well, please put it out. 202 631 one one five three. That's my personal cell phone. Okay, I'm and you don't mind public people Public person, call. and give me okay. a call if you ever need anything. So if I want to call you, you do firearm safety or how mm -hmm. to use firearms. You do the private investigative work, private investigation, and private security, security work. and executive security or executive protection. Now tell me the difference point. between each. Just I mean, well, private security would be maybe standing post, protecting property or a location. Okay. okay. So in front of a business or, or misfortune. Or okay. And then executive protection would be like a bodyguard. Okay. You know, like if, if you have a specific threat or okay. an issue and then 
we protect you. The <laughs> my wife, my wife might call you, so be careful. I, we, you'd be surprised at the phone calls. I don't want to know. Yeah, okay. We do get that, and um, I protect uh, a lot of Maryland politicians. Do you really? Yes, absolutely. Or elected leaders? Yes. Statewide? Oh, wow, yes. very interesting. Uh, Are you allowed to they, mention any of them or no? No. No, no, no okay, okay. <laughs> Nuts, okay, but, all right. Uh, Somebody you know, we protect. I can You're tell kidding? you that. Oh, Absolutely. very good. So Matt. I brought uh, my time in the U.S. Secret Service protecting okay. presidents. We'll talk about that. You can, I know you can yeah. talk about it. When were you in the Secret Service? From 2002 to 2010. Okay, now was that Bush? Who was our president? That was President Bush and then President Obama. And yeah. I also was on the uh, campaign trail with... Uh, Remember Senator John McCain and, oh, yes. and Palin. Wonderful man. Yeah. Yes, so I P was on... Tragically a POW, and tragically yes. he's passed, but a, yes. I think a very interesting great man. Great man he was. Okay. Very great man. Now, what, what got... I mean, from a kid, did you always... Did you see a movie, a Kevin Costner's movie? What, what drove you to this there in particular? Well, a little bit of a long story. Please. Uh, I was in the U.S. Secret Service, uh, or I should say... Um, I was in the Air Force first. Okay, now I said Air Force. Okay, okay. Army, then Air Force. Okay, are you in both branches? Both branches. Well, thank you for serving. Thank you. I was thank in the Army. Me. You're working, they would, they the wouldn't way. let me in any other branch, believe me. It's <laughs> a bad soldier. They probably wouldn't let me back in now. I'm getting too old. But, <laughs> okay. but uh, I'm here to say uh, everyone watching is worth it. I said that to a veteran once. I said, thank you for your service. It was mm -hmm. a Vietnam veteran. Okay. And he said, you're worth it. And it, it, yeah. I said, well, oh, my God. That, that was okay. so nice to say, and now I've taken that as well. Okay. So, uh, so now what did you do? Army first or Air Force first? Army infantry, Army military. Oh, you were 11 police. Bravo in Yes, the Army. sir, 11 Bravo. Well, thank you. Definitely now, thank you. I wouldn't you. be the person I am today if okay. it wasn't for 11 Bravo. Now, infantry. did the Air Force get you in intelligence and security? Or was it, what were you in the Air Force? So um, I did security police. Okay. Okay, so I went from infantry, military police in the Army. MP. And then MP. And then I went to the Air Force. There was a, a base in West Hampton, New York. Okay. The 106 Rescue Wing, which is a great uh, uh, organization there. And they rescued uh, down people lost in mountains yes, or something? Yes, yeah, and okay. we were the police force for that uh, oh, base. Oh, that base, that base. That base, okay. and we also deployed, too. Okay. They used to tell me in the Army, two people you want to be friends with, the cook and the MPs. So. That's correct. I mean, that's, hey, you get fed and, <laughs> and the protected. MPs didn't, never messed with the cook. No, it was, so it, it was unwritten I guess the cook rule. is the king there. Okay. That's correct. So where we, let's go back. Army, where were you stationed? Stateside? Yeah, I was guardsman and then, oh, National Guard. And then okay. Army Reserve. So okay. I was, uh, uh, boy, a long time ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I joined December 29th, 1987. Okay. So I like to call that the old army. Okay. Um, I was in 66 to so 9. So that's the real so you old not, army. Let me tell you, we, we were riding horses. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the cow. No, well, was. so, uh, you know, we respect the guys that were in before us. It was different. Uh, my uncle that's here backstage there is mm -hmm. uh, Vietnam era. Well, thank you. Uh, we'll talk soldier. Vietnam yeah. after the show. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're absolutely. So. so you got in, you, so you're into MP work, security work. So where did that lead? So then, how did the um, business come about? So, Really, uh, I guess logistics. So uh, the Army Infantry was in Patchogue in, in Suffolk County, New York, where there was an armory. Okay. And uh, I wanted to move into law enforcement, okay. and I did. So I so got you, into the military police Was that something brigade. as a kid? or what? what? I, I think that started okay. early in the Boy Scouts. Okay. Uh, when I started shooting guns when okay. I was 12. All right. That's good. That's an yeah. attraction. Yeah. There's nothing wrong yeah. with that. So, um, the problem was the military police battalion was in Queens, New York. It was oh, quite a my drive. Goodness. So, yeah, I, I went through, uh, completed all the training, and okay. became an MP. And oh, good. It, yeah, I was still very young. I was in my 20s, early 20s, and it was tough You're a young to man. Yeah. driving back and forth. As you know, young men kind of have cars uh, that are so reliable, <laughs> um, and I was one of them. And I said, well, you know, let me try this. And there was uh, openings at the West Hampton base. Okay. In, so you Island transferred there. to there. I went okay. down there, went through uh, security police school with the Air Force, did that, and I ultimately became an investigator. Oh, you and became an investigator. Led a SWAT team. Now that yeah. was Air Force. You, Air Force. Okay, I was going to say and the Army great. had the MI, military intelligence. Right. Now, what did the Air Force? Do they call it the MI. They have OSI, OSI, and I wasn't that. I was a criminal investigator oh, okay. there. Okay, so different. For the Air Force, yes, yeah, oh, okay. so it's more like on the, the CID side. in the Army, criminal. Correct. Okay. Okay. Correct. Okay. Very good. So uh, that, and I did the SWAT team. We got specialized SWAT training, team. and we okay. went to FBI SWAT school and. Uh, Became a uh, so you got some good training. Oh the yeah, best. absolutely. The, the local police department, Suffolk County Police. I credit uh, they did a lot for us uh, in the military there at the base. Wonderful organization. 
uh, FBI. Uh, I'm a certified FBI sniper. Oh, you really? From back then, yeah. So that let now that put you right that in the Secret Service. That, okay. Obviously, all these things help. So mm -hmm. um, back then, uh, President Clinton would visit that base, fly into that base. You kidding and, me? Because so, he had he had his home in. Oh no, that was. He would visit. Uh, people in, <laughs> I don't in want Hamptons. to know who he visited. Yeah, <laughs> I would imagine, you know, they okay. would, he would have... Well, he'd uh, actually fly in there and he had to be Hillary security. Clinton. Yes. Oh, okay. All so right. we protected his Make arrival. sure it was safe to land and take off. And then Air Force One would stay at the base, and okay. which oh, we wow. would protect, which was pretty... Do you have pictures of Air Force One? That'd I do. Pretty cool. Oh, do you? I do. Oh, oh, next yeah. time you come on, I want I to... Oh, it'll be great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that propelled you into a full-time job as Secret Service? So, how? so here's how it happened okay. between me, you, and the rest of the world okay. So, no secrets um, on this show now. No okay. secrets on this show. So um, he would fly in uh, periodically, and uh, along with Vice President Al Gore. Okay. Okay. So that was a great honor. Uh, sure. To be a part President of. of the United States and Vice President of the United States. Yeah, and they're yeah. flying into your base and your police at the base. So you, we did a lot, quite frankly. Okay. We worked with the Secret Service with a bunch oh. of great guys. So you start meeting people. You meet people. Okay. So uh, the way I remember it is, I was going to take a vacation to D.C. and I said, hey. Uh, maybe these guys can get me a tour of the White House while I'm down there. Yeah, here. why not? And uh, they sure did. Oh, wow. They sure did. Great. And they got your job, and, Well, they like. pitched me then. <laughs> here's, what, here's how it came. So uh, I, the w one gentleman that was assigned to give me a, a tour, he said, hey, you should come work with us. I said, I'm not going to come down here and work yeah, with you guys. Yeah, I don't come guys. to D.C., come and on. I was making a pretty good buck up there in okay. Long Island as well. All right. And I had a private... It's home. That was your home. It was New York, home. New York State. I never right. would even think of coming down. Yeah. I didn't take it seriously, and... Uh, I got the application, took it home, and I think I left it on my desk for a Mom month. Mom made you fill a it month. out, probably. No, she had nothing to do with it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, I think, quite frankly, one day I was just like, oh, let me fill this out. Why not? Why not? And then they gave me a call. So you hired like that? Because not, of your, not like oh, that. No. Oh. I'll tell you, it was a process. Oh, they, had a to, they had to go through all the investigations. Top secret security oh. clearance. Yes, yes, you are. So polygraph examination. Mm -hmm. uh, you, did, you had to go to D.C. for this or what? No, actually, a lot of people don't believe this, but mm -hmm. I had to go to the World Trade Center. You kidding me? World Trade Center, oh, number wow. seven, had uh, we had an office, Secret oh, Service okay. office okay. there. Okay, yes, they did. It's yeah. now gone. Mm -hmm. uh, so all my processing, medical uh, Oh, right in the city. Right in was right there. Okay. So uh, I was there literally two months before the towers came down. Oh, wow. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I can't help Another show we'll talk about that. Another show. So yes. anyway, how long did it take from the application being sent? About a that? year and a half. Oh, it took a good, ooh, they really did yeah. check you out. Yeah. Now, then you had to move to D.C. or what? What happened next? Yes. Yeah, so okay. um, once I... That's where I was born and raised, just so you know. So be DC. careful how you okay. treat D.C. I'm not oh, going to sing great. Hail to the Redskins or anything. All right, okay. D.C. is great, uh, okay. you know. Uh, so, um, where'd you live in D? I mean, where'd you live in DC? Uh, never lived there, oh, okay. just worked there. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. so got the position and it was assigned directly at the White House. And uh, White so House. Before you and know that's it, the best, standing isn't outside it? the Oval Office protecting President Bush. You kidding me? Still couldn't believe it. Now, would he acknowledge you or no? Uh, What's uh, the President relationship? President Bush is a great guy. They're, uh, first, let me say for Please. whatever political party you're yeah, on, and we don't, we don't, we you don't see, care. um, both of those gentlemen were very good, very okay. nice people. Very polite. Very nice people. Okay. Uh, President Bush, President Obama. Um, well, you're, you're between nice them people. and bullets if necessary, right? They better be nice to you, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. And, um, you know, uh, believe you me, the United States Secret Service is the finest Is it a top-notch group? The finest organization in the oh, world. Really? Okay. Uh, they are the best. Uh, they even now, if I had a problem, I would probably call them. You really? That, that could if, if Sheriff Hoffman couldn't help, I would call Sheriff Hoffman too. Okay. Don't get me wrong. Gary's right across I love the, the street. I okay. love the deputies here. I love the uh, sheriff's department. But these guys are the best of the best, and women. Yeah. And, and you, women. you better believe it. Okay. Uh, and I trust the U.S. Secret Service. Constant and, training and everything. Absolutely. Okay. All Absolutely. Right. The finest and the, the highest training. They're protecting commanded. the most important men and women, I think. Absolutely. In the, certainly in this country, if not the world, right? Yes. Because when the visitors Absolutely. come Hands here, down. you're there. Hands down. Now, what's that's, let me ask you this. They're the Navy SEALs of protecting. Let's yeah. just say that. That's a whole yeah. different group, right? Yeah. A yeah. whole different yeah. group. Yeah. Let me ask you, what's, what's the best part of being in the Secret Service in a White House detail? I mean, is there something you get extra good cookies or do you, uh, good rides so and cars? So there, there, there is. So when you're in academy, there is a story where if you work in the White House, there's a right. kitchen, and oh, sometimes okay. they give you a White House cookie that they make there okay. once in a while. <laughs> it's, a it's a special. So I 
waited many, many months. I never got no cookie. But one day, <laughs> one day, one cook came and said, hey, you won the next one. Oh, wow. And it melted in my mouth. Oh, is that good? You didn't even have to chew it. So I think not it only did, the best food so for the president as well as the best security. So what's, yeah, the best food and the best security. Now, what's the, what's the downside of the job? I mean, is it the hours or the locations? or? I, I think, yeah. So when you're in the U.S. Secret Service, you are devoting your entire life. Is it a 24-7 type deal? It, it, it can be, yes. Can be, Theoretically, yeah. you're on duty 24 hours okay. a day. Um, so your life and everything you know is devoted to that. You're, you're just that, and that's okay. it. Okay. There's no time for anything else. Okay. And um, people know that. It, it's hard to do 20 years. Oh, I imagine. That's tough. Is that what it is, 20 years for the Secret You could retire in 20, 20 years. Because okay. I tell many police forces, uh, that's enough pressure, 20 years. Well, yes. how do they train? Barry, let me, I, I've always wanted to know. How do they train you to put your body between another human being and take a bullet? I mean, that's what Secret Service are willing to do, as I understand it. Yeah, right? yeah. Well, the idea is to live for the protectee, not die for the protectee. Okay, so all right. Protect you, him. You just rescue. understand that you have uh, security in ways that maybe aren't even seen. Yeah, on the we don't camera. know about. We, you yeah. may see those people near him, mm -hmm. but this security, as you can okay. imagine, other things going on. Uh, all over all spectrums of security that okay. are happening. So uh, you could just imagine. Uh, so they seem, in my opinion, they recruit certain people that okay. already have a, certain kind of skills. a great credential okay. file already. You know, mm -hmm. I was leading a SWAT team at the time okay. in the Air Force. So um, they're not necessarily recruiting certain people but other you're people not that a, have you're not getting like a guy who majored in uh, philosophy probably from a college who's never touched no, a weapon or anything you'd be surprised it oh really because college means a lot I'm so sure a four-year yeah. degree is very uh, okay important. so they want you to have they'd like yeah, to have, they four want to have a four year degree but okay. if you have special skills like i would already been a sniper okay and on a swat team so at that point you that, had that a avenue yeah. you know so there are many avenues but if you're a candidate i highly recommend if you're interested contact them okay and give it's it a, a try. It's a wonderful profession. It is a wonderful profession, and it's something that I can live and talk about for the rest of my and life. And we're going to do a whole other show in the secret. Well, series. I'll be glad okay. to. Now, let I'm me glad. ask you this. I just, of course, we just tragically, November 22nd, uh, we're remembering the death of John F. Kennedy. There's right. still, I mean, it's funny, the articles that came out, there's still a stigma. Uh, you tell me. There was still a, f a feeling among many old Secret Service agencies that we let the team down. Now, you tell me, was, does that hang over the Secret Service? Did the Kennedy assassination, or it's not, I mean, is it an issue? Is it something? Uh, no, nothing no. that, I mean, I've never heard that. I mean, in, in a training time. session, they wouldn't say, we're, we're never going to let no. that, no, no. No, no, I, no, I've never heard anything It's a media thing. It's a media like thing. I mean, yeah. Um, remember, um, things are much different in oh, sure. security. Like, uh, Secrets in the Air Force, the U.S. Air Force is like this too. Okay. The Air Force or even the U.S. Secret Service that exists today, a week from now, has already transferred into something better. Oh, really? Okay. So it's constantly These organizations improving. change by okay. the week. And they have to, right? That, because, be, yeah. But that's wonderful. That is how we stay on top. Oh. Well, good. That's the way yeah. it should so be. So we're always improving. So if there's any discrepancy, so... If you look back at how security of a president was done, or let's talk about how security was done when Lincoln was okay. alive. Guy was in a theater to by himself, walk, basically, right? Well, from what I know, yeah. well, no, he had protection. It was there somebody he in there? He there. had a DC police officer with him, from what I One understand. One police officer. And he had some others, okay. supposedly. But he took a carriage, didn't he, to the Ford Theater? If I read, well, maybe I'm wrong. From, from the accounts I've read, he usually had 30 uh, cavalry with him at oh, all Oh, so he was well protected. So, okay. uh, Civil yeah. War, of course, or after the Civil War, yeah. whatever. But, for instance, the security back with Lincoln used to be able to go and knock on the front door of the White House back then. Okay. And obviously now, we don't no do way. It. Right, no so, way. So, so things you can't even get LaFont so, Plaza so now, anymore. So, right, you can't even get into LaFont Plaza. Yeah. So if you just imagine now, apply that to Kennedy. Okay. Now, if we look at so what Kennedy... So it's obviously changed dramatically. Look, look at what the president drives in now. Oh, yeah. Look at what Kennedy was in. Okay. So we're not... It's changed. Yeah, so I can't imagine somebody... They wouldn't put him on that parade route anymore. No, no it wasn't yeah, blame. It was or, just that uh, uh, I just read this article that's saying that there was this... Within the profession itself, Secret Service is always a thing like, no Kennedys on my watch. No, no, that was a newspaper no, article, I, which means nothing. Yeah, now, let no, me ask I you, never, because we're running out of time. I mean, uh, when you're in the Secret Service, then we're going to remind everybody about your business. Where was the most interesting place you went? 
Was there a country or a, somebody, I, Bush's ranch or something? Was there something that was... Uh, sure, I, I spent an extensive time at uh, Bush's ranch. Oh, no, did you? It was a beautiful, yeah. yes. But okay. uh, I like the White House. Oh, the, just being at the White I House. I love the history. The history I love of history. It. I love that, you know, all, everything happened right there, and it, it really is the capital of the free world. Okay. It is. So it's an honor to just to be the, there, right? Just to be in the building yes, is an honor. Just to be Much on less trends. working in the building, I would think. Absolutely. Now how about last the funny did you have any hilarious incident of president slipping or someone anything fun kid well they used to talk about uh, with Mayor uh, Governor O'Malley in Maryland. His little son used to walk in the pajamas and walk in on tours. And, that's, that's and, so. and they turned to him who are you and what are you doing? Here? Hey, my daddy's governor. I mean, anything like that in the White House? Or? Hmm. I'm trying to think of something that I might it's be okay. able to well, talk no, about. Next time, save that for next time. Okay. okay. Now, let's do this. We only got a minute or two. Barry, let's remind everybody the name of your company. Sure. Go ahead, please. So it's Public Security LLC, and county residents probably see our black cars with okay. blue stripes as public security on the side. Great. And if they want to get in touch with you... 202-631-1153, or you can... Just type your name in, and it's going to come any up. Any search on any internet or okay. public security LLC and, will come up. And you provide uh, individual security? Private security, uh, private investigations, armed security, executive protection, bodyguarding, okay. um, and firearms training it has been big. Americans want to have their firearms. They sure. want to okay. exercise the Second Amendment rights. And they have the and right to do that. They're seeking us out to okay. get that. Do you currently, is there a, sh are you like everybody else? Do you need people? We always need people. Okay. Uh, we've, we've lost four good people. We, we uh, talked about year. at the beginning yeah. of the show. We've lost four very irreplaceable good people. Okay. And we're always looking for good people. Oh, good. Uh, so if someone's watching the show and they, Absolutely. if they're interested in any one of those services, obviously call you. But if someone's saying, you know what? I have a background, I have an interest, also contact you. Sure, send a resume, that's the first step. You're a Queen Anne's County business, that's what the station's about, so mm -hmm. we have no problem doing that. Well, yeah. Barry, look, my time's about up. How about we get you back in the future? After your mom, Absolutely. get your mom's permission Absolutely. and your uncle's permission. Absolutely. Okay, and we'll, get, we'll talk about not only Secret Service, uh, talk about a little, we'll talk a little more next show about firearms training, what you do, what people can sure. expect. Absolutely. And I'm always interested in the executive. I know you can't mention names, but executive service. Having seen that great movie with Kevin Costner, remember? Do you remember that movie? I can't think of the title now. He was protecting was it, a wonderful the, singer. The bodyguard? Or but something like that, something. yes. And I, I said, I want to do that. And then someone said to me, Fred, wimpy five foot seven guy, we yeah. don't want you there, right? You, you won't want to do it when you uh, get stuck somewhere 12 hours. No. Or you won't want to do it when some there is real danger involved it's okay. very very dangerous i'd be the first one they say help okay yeah, well barry look at you have wonderful holiday season enjoy the holiday parade take care of your uncle and your mom please over the holidays and how about in the beginning of the year next year let's get you back sure. and that shares because you got great experiences you're right here in queen anne's county if people especially in the summer if they go to any of our beaches or any of our parks they're going to see your people there they will see who them. are gracious and unkind and look at Thank you from a person who works, volunteers with the sheriff. Your work has always been kind, helpful, uh, not only to us, but I see what they do to other people. So thank you yeah, for that. Yeah, we take great pride in that. Yes. And, and you should be proud of that. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And again, happy holidays, okay? You too. Thank you. Hi, I'm Fred McNeil again. My time's up. Thank you for your time, and we're going to see you next time.